Manchester United has shifted focus on a new number six. Sander Baj is the one they are considering now, according to the latest reports that have just come in. This is a breaking update. My name is Webb. Welcome again to the United Hot Sport. Now, we know that Manchester United gave up on Manuel Ugat, at least for now, until PSG wake up and come up with uh, a better reasonable fee for Man United to get back into negotiations. Now, what we are getting, the latest that is coming in now, is that Man United have inquired about the 26-year-old Norwegian international who plies his trade with uh, Burnley in the championship. That is Sander Badge. Now, he has been one of the baby reports we've had before, but we knew that the focus for Man United was on Manuel Ugarte. But why exactly is Sander Badge being considered ahead of so many others? We want to look at him and try to profile him and his uh, playing style, and we see whether he suits the profile of the number six that Manchester United should be looking for. Now, Sander Badge, like I said, is Norwegian. He's uh, uh, a, a Norwegian international who currently plays for uh, Burnley. He's uh, a 26-year-old, born in Feb 1998. Uh, he is one of those young, those uh, uh, midfielders in the championship, I think, who do not deserve to, be, to play there without a doubt. In fact, before, he was linked to clubs like Arsenal, he was linked to, I think, Liverpool as well. Several clubs were showing interest in him, but uh, it did not really come to yield anything, probably because the, ma the man above had ordained that maybe he could be the right backup for Manchester United to go for. Of course, he's not world-class because that is why he's playing in the championship. He's not world-class. He's not uh, one of your top elite number sixes you can think of. But with Man United having a limited budget to spend, certainly he's, uh, he, he's, he fits within what Man United wants to bring. And honestly, in the stage Man United is in when you're rebuilding, you can build him into uh, a world-class player so long as he has got proper footballers around him. He's sort of a journeyman, has played for Aska, played for Valarenga, played for Genk, then uh, joined Sheffield United until uh, 2023 when he joined Burnley, uh, where he has played 37 games and scored one goal. Now, that's where I want to get into his playing style. One thing I like, I like about Sander Baj is his style is... Uh, He's a bit patient. As a number six, you need to be patient. You don't need to have, uh, you know, the adrenaline to rush and go and, you know, get into attacks to try and get involved in things in the attack. I think he's a calm, uh, holding midfielder, typical number six, who stays there and does the simple things. He doesn't like to complicate football. When he wins the ball back, he'll play a simple pass, and that's exactly the player you need around Kobe. So I think of all the players we've been linked with, the number six is linked with, I think, is one of those those few who whose playing style is a bit close to Ugate. Because, like I've said about Ugate, he does not, when he fights for the ball and wins it, ba wins it back, he does not try to stay with it and try to do things for himself. He easily passes the ball to the next person. That's what made N'Golo Kante the best number six in, foot, in, in, in the Premier League, I think, since Mikel, uh, 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 Cloud Makalele. So, Thunder, uh, 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 Thunder Baj has that those attributes that when he wins the ball back, which is because he's physical, he's tall, uh, he's, that, that's one. His, uh, his height is good, so he's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's tall. Uh, and uh, That's 6'5". He's 6'5". Now, that's a giant. of a, He's even taller than Manuel Ugarte. That's a giant of a midfielder. So he's tall and big. He's, he's, he's got quite some muscles to him. He's, he's got power. He's energetic. And most importantly, he's, he's, uh, he's disciplined. For me, the one attribute I want in a number six that Man United is going to bring is that discipline to stay there. Because we've got Kobe and Bruno who can do the rest of the work going forward. So we just need you to come, win the ball back, and pass it to Kobe or to Bruno and let them do the, cre the creative work going forward in the final third. I think he has got those attributes. Is he at that level? Not yet, because he's not proven at that level. Because he's playing the championship. The biggest club he has played for in his entire life is Burnley. So that, that, that's that. But of course, we've seen players who come from big clubs and fail at Man United or at bigger clubs. So it's not a limitation, the fact that he's a, a cheap, because his price tag is between 15 to 20 million pounds. That's my, what Man United should pay for him. So he's a cheap option, but uh, his style and discipline for me fits into uh, the, the midfield that we want, we're trying to build. So I think it makes sense, Man United inquiring about him. Of course, they have not yet zeroed down on him uh, to say that he's the player we are going for. But of course, by now, if Man United are making inquiries about a player in this critical stage of the summer uh, transfer window, you don't think it's you know, just for vibes. I think they really, really consider him as a top player unless someone else emerges. So the plan would be to bring him in and bring back 
Scott Sophia Namrabat. Now those two uh, would be pro probably close to, uh, to, 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 in terms of age, they're in the same age, but also in terms of uh, levels, they would be close to each other. So they would easily push each other because for Amrabat, the advantage is he's a tried devil. The better the devil you know than the angel you don't. So he has been tried and has shown in, in moments that he can be an important player for United. Uh, Sander Baj would, be, would have the desire and hunger to work his ass off to be able to convince Eric Ten Hag that he should be the guy starting in number six. So I think this would be a healthy competition if we brought back Amrabat and brought Sander Baj as well. So uh, he doesn't have the load or the pressure uh, of himself being the one in charge of you know that that heavy role, uh, but, but 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 also he's pushed by Amra. Even Amrabat will be feeling this is a player I can compete with and actually start ahead of. So that would be a healthy competition that would create something good. I think they would push push each other to get the best out of them. So for me, I think uh, he's a he's a he's a good uh, option of a defensive midfielder. Better option than Richard Riles because Richard Riles is uh, not really a number six. He's sort of a Kobe-like kind of player. Plays most, you know, as a number eight, uh, a, a CDM, or as a, uh, uh, as a uh, can even play as a ten. But he can play as a number six if you, if you call him call, call upon him to play there. But you, he's not your typical number six. Sa Sander Baj is a typical number six. So if United is is giving up on uh, such uh, on Manuel Ugate. I think now we are speaking of a profile of a player who can fit into uh, the role or the, or, or the, or, or, or the, uh, the style we want to play because that number six position needs maximum discipline and technical ability. Does he have it? I think he does because playing the number six and winning balls back takes technique for you to be able to read and win that ball back cleanly without, cause, without you know, committing you know, unnecessary fouls and stuff. So... That's the technicality that I think you need as a number six. You need to be smart to time the ball right and go for it and get it or make a smart tackle that won't get you booked. Know when to go for a bad tackle, a nasty tackle. Know when to make a sacrifice. These are attributes you feel he has shown he has. And at, at 26, really, for a, foot, a football player uh, playing you know, at, this, at this level, you've got to know certain things. Uh, by this time, you've got to, to have that maturity to know some of these things. So... I, I look at it and I'm thinking, I mean, for 20 million, between 15 and 20 million pounds, he's uh, 26, played, yes, at Burnley, not your biggest club, but uh, he has shown all these attributes and, you know, profiles. He has got the discipline, the technical ability. I think, for me, he's not a bad option. Well, we wait to see what other op uh, options Man United is considering. Of course, we can then compare and contrast. But for me, I think this 26-year-old Norwegian is not a bad player. To start with, I think he can pass uh, the bill for a player uh, who can join at Manchester United. So that's the breaking update. You can drop down your comment there and let me know what you think about uh, this new development coming in uh, concerning that number six uh, and whether you think Manchester United should proceed and make a move for Sander Bash, the 26-year-old Norwegian who is now uh, being considered ahead uh, of everyone else as an option since we are failing to make uh, progress on Manuel Ugarte. That's what's happening in the summer transfer window. Guys, critical week we are in. Critical days are coming. Even the next week is going to be critical. But the reality is Man United have got no time to waste now with clubs like Atletico already signing players. Julian Alvarez is advanced almost agreeing in terms with Atletico. So all clubs are doing business. Man United cannot be trapped in talks with clubs for players they know they don't want but are just trying to overprice. I mean, we've got to move on. And I think for me, this is a good step in the right direction.